Hey, good morning. So we got a special vid for you planned today. Uh, I'm with Melanie. She hadn't made an appearance in a while, and we're out here on a little island beach, and we're gonna do some cooking. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go jump on Brian's boat real quick. We're gonna run out, we're gonna catch some fish, and then bring them back here. And Melanie's gonna be waiting on me to do some cooking, to do some beach cooking when we get done. So they're putting Brian's boat in right now on the forklift. We got some sunshine today, man. It is beautiful out here. It's gonna be like this all day. We are making a quick pit stop by the bait boat right here to pick up some cigar minnows. I wonder how the current's doing here. Here you go. Dump those. We found some uh, floating structure on the way out here, guys. And I'm uh, trying to see if there's any fish on it. Oh, I got one, guys. Got one. Got one. Hey, he's hung. Brian, back up. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what I got. But something nice. Back up. He's hung on the rope. Just go this way. We're good. I don't know what I got. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. It looks like, Brian. Look what a triple tail. That's a big, nice big triple tail, guys. He ate this jig. That's kind of cool. I don't know if he's legal or not. 18, but he, huh? Is it? I think so. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't think he's gonna be a keeper, but that is a nice one. He's close. Yep. Look at that, 17 inches, guys. And I think they were they gotta be 18. But uh it's okay. That's a pretty triple tail. So we're headed out to the spot and we ran over this buoy ball that was just floating and I made a cast on there and caught that 17 inch triple tail, but they gotta be 18 inches in the state of Florida to keep. So it's still a nice fish nonetheless. We're gonna keep moving. All right, well, I'm about to feed them a bait right here. See what happens. We just pulled up to our spot. And I'm dropping the first bait down, right? Actually, I'm, I'm just kind of freelining it. You got a little knocker rig right here. I want it to go down about 20 feet under the boat. Got our first fish coming up over here, and it is going to be a vermilion snapper. And it's a nice vermilion snapper. Wow. Those are great to eat. And we're going to put him in the box. All right, I'm going to try now. I got to catch me a vermilion snapper or something edible down here all right i'm getting some getting some bites now finally there we go ray man you were putting them in the boat up there there he is finally oh that's not what i want are you kidding me yeah a big snapper too Hey, what do I got? This is an odd, this ain't a snapper, guys. This is an odd fighting fish right here, boys. He's coming right up to the top, extremely fast. This ain't no snapper. He is running across the top of the water, hardcore. What in the world? Oh, what a, we're gonna need the net. He's getting chased by kudas. Oh, it's a big rainbow runner. Oh, Hurry, get it. the net, oh, get nice. the net. Yeah. Woo, look at this. He's getting chased by kudas. Get him in the net. Yeah. All right. So check that out. That was wild, guys. This is a nice rainbow runner. And uh, man, they're really, really good to eat. And I wasn't expecting it. I thought I had a red snapper. I was kind of disappointed, but this is a great surprise. All right, I'm dropping back down to see if I can continue with my luck here. Oh, there he is, there he is. Come here. Uh, I, th I think it's a red snapper. Yeah, last time I said that it was a rainbow runner, so. <sighs> it's hard to tell. He may have just came off. If he just came off right by the boat, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, look at there. Check it out. There's a double vermilion. One of them is a keeper and one of them is not. We got a nice one on right there. Brian's got one coming up right there and I just caught a big fat vermilion snapper right there. So we're starting to get some fish. What's he feel like, man? 
dead weight like the scan. That's what we want. Oh yeah. Wow. Look at that one, man. That's a nice, nice vermilion there. So this guys, this right here, my guess is gonna be gag grouper. I hope I'm wrong and I hope it's just a giant scamp. But uh, there it is, we'll find out very shortly. And that's gonna be a big, uh, big giant scamp. Let's get the net, that is a giant scamp here. There's a good one. Oh, oh, oh look what a scamp, guys. Look what a scamp. And I gotta get me a big scamp now. We're going back down. That was a really nice fish. Like I, I mean, really nice scamp. There he is, there he is. I got a good one coming right here, guys. I just hung him and he is coming up super, super smooth. Like I can barely pull him off the bottom. I feel like I'm pulling up a uh, five gallon bucket is what I feel like. This is a grouper species. The only other thing that it could be, just out of my knowledge from being out here, is a moray eel. But there it is right there. And it's a big scamp. He's hooked in the, uh, there he is. There he is, all right. Scamp, baby. All right. So this guy right here is what I'm going to be bringing back to Melanie at the beach for us to cook on the beach. This is one of the best tasting fish that you can get. And I think Ray, on actually Ray's got the bottom over there. But this is a beautiful white meat scamp grouper. All right. Now it's time to clean some fish. All right. And we've got some fish to clean in there. It was a pretty good little morning of fishing. Check out the scamp meat right here. That's as white a meat on a fish as any fish that swims right there. That's why it's so good. Got this little guy right here. You just go straight down the side with him. He's just a little 17 incher. Pretty little white meat fillet right there. So check this out. I just got back down here to Melanie and we were setting up camp right here to cook, but not anymore, okay? Check it out right here by our campsite. There's a copperhead moccasin. He is just chilling. I don't know if you can see him in there. Look at him. There he goes. I have not seen many copperheads. So that is really neat. Look at him. He's turning around at me. You can see his head right there. Look at that head. Wow, that is really neat. So what did you think of the snake? That was scary because we heard it rustling and you're like, oh, it's I just thought a it lizard. was a lizard. My but bad. It was too noisy. Yeah. For a lizard. Yeah. Whew, that was crazy. So the new name for this place is Copperhead Island. <laughs> That's the first copperhead I've seen in a very long time. So that was really cool. So Melanie's prepping the food right now and I'm gonna let her be the chef today because she's a lot better at it than I am. So that's the scamp right there. You can tell because of that beautiful white meat. Check this out though. Melanie also brought bacon because she knows how much I like bacon. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Mm, you smell that bacon? Yep. Take it. That looks ready. That's my favorite food group. Just so you know. What I think is cool about this is that the fish is just so fresh. I mean, it was just caught. Yeah, that one's definitely ready, babe. Let's go ahead and put that one on the plate. There we go. There's some potatoes going with it. So there's the final product right there. That's a beach breakfast. 
we are right here next to the water. We've got our potatoes, our fresh caught scamp, some bacon. All right, I'm hungry. Enough talking about it. All right, so now it's, it's breakfast time. And the first thing I'm gonna do is try the bacon. Go for it. <laughs> Cooked outside. That's great. But why don't you try the fish? Okay. I did put lemon and salt and pepper. What do you think? Oh my goodness. That's Is it good? Perfect. You can tell that it was literally just barely cooked. It is not well. The lemon and the salt and the pepper is a mm. must. I want a bigger bite. I mean, and it's breakfast. Don't hold back. You got to have the breakfast potatoes. Right? That was great. I mean, this, uh, just the whole experience out here is awesome. If you want to see us do more beach island catch and cook type stuff, shoot us a comment below and let us know. There's a lot of spots in our areas that we can do this and there are even some spots where I can catch the fish straight from the beach and we can take them right from the water to the frying pan. So other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe. You guys have a great weekend.